um good morning it is now day seven of vlogmas i think um so i'm getting ready to head to school and tonight is a very busy night because i have school and then i have a volleyball game and then today's also my opa's birthday so then we're going to their house then i'll have to come home and study and show you some gift ideas so um yeah it's very busy i'm just packing up my stuff right now i have like a whole bunch of bags um but i'm i'm trying okay so i will see you after i don't know when i'll see you but i'll try to get videos of stuff So I have returned back home. It is quite late. I was at my Oma and Opa's house for a couple hours after my volleyball game and it's now 10 o'clock. So I was supposed to study. I guess that'll have to be tomorrow night because I'm doing my test Friday, Christmas Eve Eve for biology because I do not want to have to worry about it over break. So that brings me to the th theme of this video, which is some last minute DIY Christmas gift ideas. So, um, technically I have three ideas which kind of combine into two, um, which I have already given some away, so I will give you a demonstration of one, and then the other one is actually going to be so last minute that I'm probably going to be ending up doing it on Christmas Eve, but I will discuss it with you. So. Basically, the first idea is Christmas cards. So this is the Christmas card I made this year. It is so pretty. Um, so every year I make a Christmas card. I make handmade Christmas cards, send them to all my family. This year I think I made like, I made over 50 cards this year. Um, but this design was way easier than years before that I did. Like years before I'd have to glue stuff. But this one was easy. I just had to like use tape and then paint and then let it dry and then paint and then let it dry and then put the little star on the top. So it's pretty simple, but I still think it's really cute. Um, and then inside this one's blank because it's an extra. Um, but I just put a stamp here and then I would write like two blah, 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 blah. Uh, and then I usually have a little like saying I write in it every year. So let me just grab one. I'm not going to show you the inside, but it's for my badminton coach. And it says, the magic of Christmas never ends and its greatest of gifts are family and friends. So I would write that in every one. And then for like specific people, I would write specific things. for. So for like a teacher, I'd write like, thanks for being a great teacher. I'll write some in French for like teachers or French. Yeah. Basically, the teachers are the only ones I write in French. Um, and then I would write, um, like, thanks for being a great coach to my coaches. Um, or just that to family members. So I would write that. And then at the bottom, I would write love Olivia or love, love the pop family, depending on who it's going to. Because, like, the ones to family, I would do from, um, from my whole family. Oh, sorry, I'm back. So, I don't have an example. Oh, I do have an example, actually. Okay, here's an example of my next gift idea, which is kind of mixed in with the card because the card is in it, too. Um, this is a little broken because it's been in my bag, but um, 
I'll make this one beautiful and demonstrate for you how I did it. So this is what it looks like. This is for my coaches and teachers. Um, so I just have the little card back here in a envelope as you can see. And then I have these little cute boxes of chocolate. Let's see which other ones. I have one left for that coach. Um, but like a box of chocolates um, from this chocolate place that's in Southern Ontario in Stratford that I went to for a uh, basketball. Why would I say basketball? Sorry, my leg hurts. Um, I don't even play basketball. I mean badminton. For badminton tournament, I went there and I've gotten these for the past couple years for my teachers. They're just these little chocolates and they're really delicious and so I give them this and then I wrap it all cutesy with ribbon. Um, so I'll show you how I do that. Okay, so I don't know if you can see very good, um, but I have an envelope here. And I'm just gonna put the card in the envelope and close it like that. I've got it on the top and I did write their name on the edge that I know whose is going to who. Um, and then, where's my tape? Oh, here. And then I take some tape. I'm just gonna put a little loop in the middle. And then I just stick this on top. And the ribbon should keep it in place, but that's just like, just some extra, extra solidification. And then I've got my ribbon here, which is a little messy, but um, I'm gonna take some green to start. You actually want more than you think you need. So I'm gonna take, I don't know, however much this is. And then some red. You want the same length. And then this kind of part, this part's actually kind of difficult. So I'm going to take about the middle of the ribbon and I'm going to go across like this. Oh my gosh, I got to take this sticker off of that. And then you're going to, I don't know if you can see, I'm going to go under and I'm going to twist it like this. And then bring it back up and tie it. Okay, so I'm gonna go like that in the middle and I'm gonna double knot it. Like this, so that it looks like that. So then I'm gonna take the scissors and I'm just gonna curl them. This is a bit long. Oh no, it looks nice, beautiful. And I'm gonna curl them off. Beautiful, just like this. Beautiful. So that is how I made these cute little gifts for my teachers and my coaches. So I gave out, this is the last one I have to give um, to my badminton coach on Friday. And then today I handed them out to my two volleyball coaches. And then uh, today I also handed out my three, to my three teachers. So, um, yeah, so then this is the last one I have to hand out. And then uh, it'll be over with. Um, yeah, so I think this is really cute. I love giving these to my teachers. I was actually, so when I was giving out stuff to my teachers and my coaches today, a lot of people were like, either the teachers were like, ooh, like this is so amazing, I don't get much gifts, or um, the kids were like, you really still give out gifts? And the reason I give out gifts is because of this one time I didn't, like I did all throughout like elementary school and middle school, if that's what it is, grade seven, eight. And then um, like in grade 10 or something, I didn't give him out one year. And then my teacher gave us a gift and I was so, like I felt so bad that I didn't get her a gift. So now I just give them all gifts and I actually love it because 
um, like from giving out five gifts today, three of them have already texted me saying like, thank you for the gift or like, it's really appreciated or whatever. So um, it makes me feel happy. So the third slash, the second slash third idea. Can you tell my eyes are getting tired? Ugh, it's okay. Second slash third idea, um, which I was supposed to show you today, but I've had a little bit of a malfunction and I'm probably gonna have to end up squeezing that in Christmas Eve morning. Um, so hopefully I can make it work. But um, basically that is an album. So for my, I love making albums because they're so like personalized and you can do it last minute. Um, and there is another cool thing about albums that I love is that you can add on every year. So for my Oma and Opa, I got them an album in like 2017 or 2018. Uh, I made them this big album and now each year I add new pages so like from that year um, so I think that's really awesome so I was supposed to show you that today but my pictures that I sent to get printed on Monday maybe it was Sunday or Monday I think it was Sunday um, I haven't gotten an email saying to go pick them up yet and it said like day of delivery so uh, not day of delivery day of pick up if it's before a certain time which it wasn't so i was like okay in like two days i'll get it the email but haven't gotten it yet so pray for me pray that i get them before christmas eve because i need to give that to them on christmas eve and yeah so um, let's hopefully I can do that. I will like I I add the like main parts of this year. So um, For example this year, I'm gonna be adding stuff from my exchange um, from hosting an exchange student um, My Oma and Opa my Opa's sister came to visit us from Germany this year So I'll have some pictures of that and I'll have like Halloween Christmas and then last year we had COVID during Christmas So I'll add a little thing about that um, and then it was my cousin's sweet 16, so I'll have pictures of that. Um, the summer, my cousin's got a new dog. Thanksgiving, New Year's Eve, winter, my dad's 50th birthday. Um, two of my cousin's confirmation, Easter, cottage. Um, and then just some other fun pictures that I found. So I print, I sent to print about 130 pictures. That will not all go in the album, but I'll at least be able to pick from a lot um, so it'll hopefully be beautiful and hopefully it can be here on time so you guys will know if you keep watching these vlogs um, so that's it for this portion of the video um, I'll probably do a little montage of me getting ready for bed but um, I did want to say I don't know if I've mentioned this but I was supposed to have a volleyball tournament tomorrow, school, sorry, school volleyball tournament tomorrow, but it got canceled because there's supposed to be a huge snowstorm, I guess tomorrow and Friday. Um, so everyone's saying it's gonna be a snow day Friday. Um, so like even like this like so our school does this thing called they call it the seance de noel and it's like basically the teachers put together like a whole skit and videos and all this like hilarious like this hilarious show basically for the like making fun of kids basically um and they were supposed to do that on friday and they actually pushed it up to tomorrow which is thursday because everyone thinks it's gonna be a snow day it says like the internet says special weather statement um let me see what it says for, oh, okay, it's not that bad. Oh, well, it's a special weather statement, so I don't know. But it basically says 90% chance of snow, zero degrees, which then I guess means it'll melt, but then it'll get cold, so then it'll be ice. So I don't know, but maybe it won't be a snow day Friday, but I am, even if it's a snow day, I am going to school and I'm doing my dang biology test because I do not want to worry about that over Christmas break. So, um, 
yeah, I'm going to get ready for bed now. Oh, by the way, um, back to my volleyball tournament. So we were supposed to have a volleyball tournament tomorrow and it got canceled because um, of the snowstorm because so many teams, like there were teams coming from down south and they uh, like were dropping out because they didn't want to be stuck in the snowstorm. So then there weren't enough teams. So that's why they canceled it. But it's actually kind of a good thing because obviously I'm like super sad that our volleyball tournament was canceled because I really wanted to play. I was prepared to play. However, there were so many Christmas festivities that were happening tomorrow, especially like with the Friday festivities moving up to tomorrow. So tomorrow we have pajama day um, and then that seance de Noel. And then earlier this week on Monday, we decorated the doors of our classrooms. Um, and today they announced the winner and my class won. So we get a special prize, which we don't know what it is, but we get it tomorrow. So I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna miss the special prize. I'm missing pajama day. I'm missing like all this stuff, but now I'm not. So, but then I wish I would have known all along that the volleyball turn was canceled because then I could have prepared to do my test tomorrow. And then if it was a snow day Friday, I'd be fine. However, now I'm not ready, so. Yeah, that is all, and I'm going to get ready for bed now. today's video I am gonna head to bed now um, I hope you enjoyed I hope you join me for tomorrow's video make sure to subscribe down below and follow me on Instagram um, and yeah hopefully from now on I'll have a little more fun I do still have a test to write but then after that I'm free from school for two weeks so Lots of fun stuff coming, some surprises, so be sure to stick around, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!